Biodiversity on land is a precondition for human survival. In this film, we will take a closer look at protected nature areas, possible ways to protect biodiversity on land, and the question, how agriculture will feed a growing world population. Protected areas are important to preserve biodiversity. They give home to many plants and animals in a delicate balance. Human influence has been weak so far and human activities are strictly limited. Protected areas provide shelter and allow species to move. In 2010, there were 150,000 protected areas worldwide, covering 13% of the world's land area. Their number and size has grown, but not enough to protect biodiversity effectively, as many of these areas are too small or isolated. Even worse, more than half of the sites that are important for biodiversity remain completely unprotected. Protected areas are also important for us. The drinking water for many of the world's largest cities comes from such areas. While plants needed to improve our crop varieties grow there. One biodiversity target calls for an increase in the number and size of protected areas globally to at least 17% of the land area by 2020. Governments will need to declare many new protected areas or extend existing ones. However, this is not easy. Farmers might no longer be allowed to cultivate their fields. Companies might be hindered to log trees or establish mines on their property. And road building may get blocked even if a road is needed. If a conflict arises between existing economic interests and the establishment of new protected areas, what do you think should come first? The biodiversity targets demand that by 2020, considerable improvements must be made regarding the protection of biodiversity. And this leads to one question. How? As countries and regions differ, the measures to be taken may differ as well. Rising public awareness and integrating the need of biodiversity protection into regional project planning may help. Strict laws, tough sanctions may also work, as economic measures could, making activities that harm biodiversity expensive. So we ask you, which measures do you prefer to ensure the protection of nature areas in your country? Agriculture is the single most important factor for global biodiversity loss. Today, 40% of the Earth's land is used for growing crops and feeding cattle. By 2020, the UN estimates that our planet has to feed 7.7 .7 billion people. And as their standard of living is rising, they prefer to eat meat. But eating meat instead of plants increases the demand for land tenfold. That's why one-fifth of the world's remaining large forests are in danger, with dire consequences for biodiversity. Considering this, a solution must be found for how agriculture should be done in the future. The options we have are very limited. We can destroy more natural habitats and convert them into farmland. We can use more fertilizer to increase the yield, causing pollution and soil erosion. Or we could develop new and more productive crops. There are also more environmentally friendly practices like crop rotation that could work but need a lot of know-how. On the other hand, we could also decrease consumption and eat less meat. Depending on the region, the people and their needs, the question is, which general strategy do you think is most promising in matching the future demand for food with the aim to protect biodiversity?